So I like these stones. These are uh, made by Chosera. Uh, or excuse me, they're made by Naniwa. And these are the Chosera stones. So they're their top grade stone. And um, I think this is all you need. 400, 1,000, and 5,000. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I usually start at home here at 1,000. 1,000, 5,000, and then a leather strop. Um, if your knives are really dull, you need to probably go back to 400 um, to, to bring the edge out. So, the nice thing about these stones is you don't really need to soak them. You just kind of splash and goes. This thing adjusts so it'll go over a pan or over your sink. The uh, first stone is the most important stone. This is just a test knife. So, you know, the angle's 10 degrees. If you put a matchbook under there, that'd be about the right angle. 10 to 15 degrees. You don't need to be way up here. We're just cutting food, cucumbers, chicken breasts. I like to use the whole stone. You can go straight back and forth. But um, for me, it tends to leave a little ridges, potentially, on a long knife with this sort of action. You don't really get those. I don't switch hands and do this because I'm no good on this side. So my it's always in my right hand. You want to do about 50% on each side. So I don't really count the strokes. I just guesstimate. Then you want to get the grid off so you can actually feel the knife. Mm -hmm. And you're feeling for a wire edge. Yeah. Feeling, yeah, feeling for that burr. Now, yes. Oh, wow. So, so yeah. you can't really feel it this way. Mm -hmm. What you feel are teeth. Yeah. You can feel it this way and this way. Okay. This doesn't tell you much. Okay. So do this and this. You just feel it on one side. Mm -hmm. That's yes. a wire edge. That's what you have to get on the first stone. Can but you get that on one side? It'll or... only show up on one side. Okay. It shows up. So if I just did this, the wire edge is going to show up on this side. If I just did this, the wire edge will show up on this side. Okay. So it moves from side to side. Make sense? Yes. It flops back and forth. So usually it'll show up here first and then you need to spend a bit more time on the point get the grid off feel for it there it is so now I just have to work on the heel get the grid off Feel for the wire edge. Now, a couple of balancing strokes. And then I got the wire the full length. So now you go to your next stone. The next stone is just polishing. But the edge is already there. But the edge is going to be rough because we got the wire there, right? Yeah. So it's not going to push cut, but it'll slide cut. And then you can see it's sort of a funky rough cut. So this is going to make it slicker. So this is a thousand grit. And this stone you don't have to spend a whole lot of time on because most of the heavy lifting is already done. I don't have to check for the wire edge because I know it's there. This is a 5,000 grit stone. This is a cleaning stone to get any grit that's impacted on the surface of the stone off. This is just I mean, it cuts, this stone still cuts, but it's really refining the edge.
Now, even though that's a 5,000 grit stone, there's still a wire edge on here. Because it won't push cut. It'll slide cut great. So that's why you have to strop. And the stropping is really how you finish out any edge. And at this point, the wire edge should be gone, so it'll push cut. That's it. That's all there is to it. It's pretty simple.